Welcome back. The details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi received Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Cairo on Sunday. Lavrov handed a message to President Sisi from his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin. The message conveyed Russia's keenness to enhance bilateral relations within the framework of partnership and joint strategic cooperation reflected in joint development projects currently being implemented. The message also included valuing uh, Egypt's initiative to form the Ministerial Communication Committee within the framework of the Arab League to settle the Ukrainian crisis. President Sisi asked Lavrov to convey his greetings to Russian President Vladimir Putin, expressing his appreciation to bilateral ties reflected in carrying out the Russian projects in Egypt, including the establishment of a Daba nuclear station and the Russian industrial zone in the Suez Canal axis. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri said Cairo is looking forward to finding a political settlement to the crisis in Ukraine. He was speaking during a press conference with visiting Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov following their talks in Cairo. Shukri said the relations between the two sides are historical and uh, um, will covering all fields. For his part, Lavrov said Cairo and Moscow share common views over many international and regional issues. He said trade exchange with Egypt has increased and added that both sides are discussing founding a Russian industrial zone in Egypt. Lavrov also said cooperation is continuing with Egypt in regards to COVID jabs. The Russian foreign minister stressed the need to reach a political settlement to the Libyan crisis. He said that during the meeting he reviewed the Russian view of the military operation in Ukraine. Arab League Assistant Secretary uh, General uh, uh, Ambassador Hossein Zeki said that Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's visit to Egypt aimed at telling Russia's account of events taking place and boosting Russian-Arab ties. He said that the visit comes as an Arab-Russian forum was to take place, but events delayed its convention. In TV statements, Ambassador Hossein Zeki said that the visit has two aims, answering a request to meet the Arab League Secretary General and addressing the League's Council to explain his country's position with regards to Ukraine. He said the Middle East region is pivotal for international peace and stability. This came as the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov visited the headquarters of the Arab League where he gave a speech on the latest developments of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict. Lavrov said that the Russian reservations about NATO enlargement were neglected and the construction of Russian anti-military bases in Ukraine was planned. He asserted that the Minsk agreement was violated and Kiev bombarded Russian zones with missiles. However. Lavrov appreciated the responsible approach the League has taken towards the Ukrainian crisis despite the Russian legitimate security fears which were illustrated by Western supplies of weapons to neighboring countries. He also asserted keenness to boost cooperation with Arab League over several regional inter and international files. Meanwhile, um, the Arab League Assistant Secretary General Ambassador Hossein Zeki said the Russian Foreign Minister's visit to Egypt aims at telling Russia account of events taking place and boosting Russian-Arab ties. Minister of Interior approved the acceptance of a batch of new students for police college from both genders. The new students uh, represent graduates of secondary certificate and al-Azhar, as well as academic qualifications of physical education college and other um, faculties. Assistant of Interior Minister announced the criteria and dates of acceptance for the new students from all categories for the academic year 2022-2023. He said that for the very first time the students can submit the needed documents through the Interior Ministry's internet site and that their interviews will be conducted within the coronavirus precautionary measures. 
He also announced the incentives which will be provided for the police college students during the academic year. Taking